so today we are building this amazing hulu clone and we will be using uh, next year to build this amazing hulu clone here so this is the hulu clone which we are building this is start to end which we are building like previously we have built netflix clone and like this this is the hulu clone which we are building it is totally like uh, netflix but some something is some things are different from here because in this hulu clone you can just see thousand of tv shows and movies but in netflix you can also uh, you can only see the movies which is available on netflix and in hulu you can see the thousand of tv shows also and movies also so this hulu is really amazing which we are building here and we are building it from start to end and this is the clone of hulu which we are building so now i'll be giving you the demo and showing you how it is different from the netflix and what are the things included in this amazing uh, hulu clone which we are building from next year so here now i'll be giving you the demo of this first of all you can see we are getting the title of stream tv and movies live and on online hulu written here you can write any other title also you want to write you can write here, here hulu clone or any other title and then at the center you can see we are getting a beautiful banner image like we are getting in netflix when we were building that then in the front we are getting an amazing paragraph where it is written try up to pro month free then this is the hulu logo which is looking awesome down we are getting this paragraph you can write any paragraph you want to write but here i have written this paragraph of watch thousands of tv shows and movies then down we are getting these all uh, like channels name you can just see this and these are the channels uh, that are available on this hulu clone and you can just see tv shows on this channel by using this hulu then you can press this start, start your free trial button to start your free trial then at the right we are getting a login button also so if you have not logged in yet on this hulu clone you can log in if you are having account but if you are not having account so first of all you have to sign up then directly you can log in and down we are also getting a small paragraph where it is written free trial for new and eligible returning subscribers only means that free trial is only for the new people who are coming and want to see things from this hulu clone then down we are getting this banner where we are getting different logos of these all products like we are getting hulu logo disney spa logo then we are just getting bundle with any hulu plan and save then we are getting get hulu and disney plus and spain plus then we are getting details here you can press to check more details then you can press this get bundle button to see more video to see more stuff of this hulu then down we are getting terms apply button also here we are getting included in all plans button here you can also see all the tv you love means all the tv shows you love will be moving uh, will be getting here you can see on premium you can see hulu originals movies tv shows and then you can also read this paragraph like this is hulu is about all the people if you want to see uh, like kid shows you can do hulu original hit movies and all these things then we are getting live tv makes it better you can also see it on live by using this hulu you can see the channels on your area and if you are having good films and movies on that channel you can just see it live on this hulu uh, plus live tv then move down here we are getting live sports you can also see the sports there of basketball and the like tennis or any sports you want to see here you can see it is saying that live sports catch your games at home or on the steam live games so it is also streaming live games you can see it directly from hulu these are the channels which is streaming on hulu then move down and this is the footer section of hulu in which we are containing all this stuff these are the social media icons of this hulu which we are getting you can press and you can redirect it to their social media account so this is our amazing hulu clone which we are building using next year so i hope you'll be understanding this video and i hope it is enjoyable for you if it is enjoyable and you are learning things from this video so hit a like and if you are new on the channel want to see more videos like that so hit notification bell from which you'll be notified with all the future videos also share this video so more people can learn and they can also take benefit of these amazing things and i hope they will be also enjoying these all stuff and also share this video so more people can learn you can also check my previous videos which i've done yet using next year and react year because i've built many of the clones website apps that will giving you help moving forward remember to check that out so just now we'll be starting with our video and seeing how to build this amazing hulu clone using next year hello friends and assalamu alaikum welcome to my channel ib all designing developer like you all know that we are covering up two videos one is of our javascript and one is our big video which we are uh, building using next year and react year like languages like you can say clones and websites like these things which we have done so today also we'll be doing a different thing using next year because previously on we have covered up two videos about react year so i think that now we should do any different work and we should move on to next year so today i'll moving on to next year and i'll be building a different clone using next year today 
I'll be telling you how to build an amazing Hulu clone using Next.js and I'll be giving you the demo of this like in the starting you have seen the demo how it was and how we are building it from start to end so remember to see this video if you want to learn how to build this Hulu clone using Next.js because this video will be containing many of the important things and I hope you'll be enjoying this video like you're enjoying all the previous videos and also share this video so more people can learn and they can also take benefit of these amazing things like you are taking and I hope you'll be enjoying all the future videos also which I'll be uploading by hitting the notification bell because when you hit notification bell you'll be notified with all the future videos which I'll be uploading and that will giving you help moving forward you can check my all the previous courses which I've done yet using next year's next year's 13 because that will give you help to learn that and you can also build your own projects like clothes, websites, portfolios and anything you want to build using Next.js and React.js like language. So now today we'll be starting with our video and seeing how to use Next.js and how to build an amazing Hulu clone using Next.js. So just like I'm telling you we'll be just building an amazing clone of Hulu. So now we'll be starting to build this Hulu clone using Next.js. So for building this here I will be opening my VS code. So now when you've opened this here I will be now directly closing these all files which I've already opened. And from here I will be opening my folder which is created through my desktop and this is the Hulu Close Next.js folder. Now when you've opened here I will be moving to my main file. Then when you've written these all things here I will be using all these stuff which we are getting it here. Now here you have to move to this file. After this then here I will be now moving these all stuff. Now when you've written these all things I'll be pressing Ctrl V. Now here I will be opening it in my default Google Chrome browser to check it is working. So on my desktop, my Hulu clone folder was here and this is my file and you can see when I've opened it, it's totally empty. Now I'll be doing it side by side. So at the left, we'll be getting our uh, file and at the right, we'll be getting our interface. Now you can see we are getting all this stuff here. When you're getting this thing, just here, I will be now moving uh, down after this tag. So simply here, I will be now doing one thing like here. I will be moving right here, header. Then I will be writing here class header. Then you have to move down right here, nav, ul, li, button, class. Then here I will be writing login btn. Then here I will be writing login like this. Then you have to move down. And after moving down here, I'll be writing this class header content. Then here I will be writing h4 right here, try up to two months free like this then when you've written this here i will be writing image then in source i'll be writing logo.png right here class which should be logo and when you've written this here i will be writing div class header text then here i will be writing one here i will be writing watch thousands of tv shows and movies like this then when you've written this here i will be writing div class header Text. Then here I will be writing two. Here you have to write HBO Max, write Showtime. There I will be just writing Cinemax, and here I will be writing and Star Z. Then when you've written this, here I will be writing available like this. Here I will be writing as advanced. Then you have to just move down right here button class. Here I will be writing BTN, BTN, CTA. Here I will be writing start your then here I will be writing start your free trial like this. Then here I will be just moving down right here div class legal. Then right here text. Here you have to move down right here free trial. Then right here for new and then you have to just write here eligible returning. Then here when you written this here I will be writing subscribers only. Then I will be just moving down after this tag. And now when you've written this thing, just here I will be now writing session class. Here I'll be writing subheader like this. Then right here image, image slash. Then right here logos dot png. Then when you've written these all this stuff here, I will be now just moving down after this tag. Then right here div h4. Right here bundle with any Hulu plan and save. Then when you've written this here, I will be moving right here H3, get Hulu like this. Then I'll be writing here Disney plus right here and Spain like this. Now when you've written this here, I'll be writing class sublink like this. Then in center, I'll be writing 
details. Now here you have to just do like diff tag, then write a tag, and then you have to write here class btn, btn outline. Then in center I will be writing get bundle. Here you have to move down. Write here a tag, class btn. But here I will be writing sublink. Then here I will be writing terms apply. Then write here section class. Here I will be writing categories. Then I will be writing here H4 included. Then I will be writing in all plans like this. Then when you written this here I will be moving down right here div class text. Then right here Excel all. Then here I will be writing the TV. Then I will be writing here you love. Now when you written this here I will be writing div class. Then I will be writing sub text. Then here. When you've written this here, I'll be writing stream full seasons. Then when you've written this here, I'll be writing exclusive. Right here, series, comma, current seasons, like this thing. Then here I will be writing season episodes. Then I will be writing hit movies. Then I will be writing comma Hulu originals like this. Then here I will be writing kids shows. Then I'll be writing and more. Now when you've written this here, I'll be writing div class covers. Then I'll be writing div class cover one like this. Then here I will be writing div class cover. Then here I will be writing cover grad. Then when you've written this move down right here div class cover text. Then I will be writing div class sub. Then here I'll be writing title. Then you have to write here past like this right here and current. Then when you've written this here, I'll be writing end current seasons. Then here you have to just move down. Right here H3. Right here TV shows. Then I will be just moving. Right here div class cover. Then when you've written this thing just here, I will be now moving at the top like this. Then I will be writing here cover 2. Now you have to move down right here div class cover dash grad. Then I will be moving right here div class cover text then i will be writing here div class subtitle then here i will be writing new and classics like this then when you've written this here i will be writing h3 right here movies so here i will be writing movie save then reload so you can see we are getting all this stuff now when you are getting here i'll be writing div class cover 3 then here i will be writing div class here I will be writing cover dash grad. Then here I will be writing diff class cover. Then I will be writing here text. And you have to move down right here diff class. Then I will be writing here a tag which will be like subtitle. Then here I will be writing ground breaking. So here I will be writing this. Then right here h3. And here I will be writing Hulu originals like this here i'll be writing div class cover 4 then right here div class cover grad now here when you've written this here i will be moving right here div class then here i'll be writing cover text then i will be just writing here div class subtitle and here i will be just writing add on like this and you have to just move down right here h3 premium then i will be just writing here a tag which will be like section class live then right here div class live border then i will be writing here h4 hulu then here i will be writing plus live tv then when you've written this here i'll be writing div class text excel then here i'll be writing live tv makes then here i'll be writing live tv makes it better like this save and then reload now if I show you, you can see we are getting all this stuff here like this. Now when you've written this thing just here, I will be now moving down right here, div class sub text like this. Then here I will be just writing make the switch from cable. Then here I will be writing get 75 plus top channels. Then right here with your favorite. Then when you've written this live sports then right here news and events dash plus the entire then right here 
to new streaming then right here library then when you've written this here i'll be writing dev class right here legal then here i will be writing legal text then you have to move down right here live tv land required then i'll be writing here regional and then right here restrictions right here blackouts right here additional then right here terms apply right here see details then when you've written this here i will be just moving right here attack which should be like view channels uh, then here i will be writing in your area so when you've written this here i'll be moving at the back then i'll be taking this c in capital here you have to write section class right here live sports then right here dev class live sports so when you've written this here i'll be writing content here you have to move down right here text excel then here i'll be writing live sports then when you've written this here i will be now moving down after this tag here right here dev class then i'll be writing here sub text then i will be now moving down right here catch your game then here i will be writing at home or on the go then when you've written this here i'll be writing stream live games then here i'll be writing from major college then here i will be writing and pro leagues then when you've written this here i will be writing including here i will be writing nca then right here nba right nhl right nfl and here i'll be writing and more now here i'll be writing dev class right here live sports then here i'll be writing logo here i will be now just doing one thing here i'll be writing dev image then i'll be writing image slash live sports and then here i will be writing dash logo one dot png now when you've written this here i will be writing dev image slash then right here live two then here i'll be writing image slash live three then here i will be writing image and then here i will be writing image and then right here slash live four now when you've written this here i will be moving down right here div class legal text then i will be just writing a uh, live tv plan required then when you've written this here i'll be writing regional then write restrictions then when you've written this here i will be writing blackouts and then right here add additional and then right here terms apply here i'll be writing c details then when you've written this here i'll be writing footer class then here i will be writing footer then right here dev class footer container like this now when you've written this here i'll be writing dev class right here footer list then here i will be writing dev class like this then here i will be writing footer list so when you've written these all things here i will be now erasing this thing then here i will be now just pressing control z right here you will tag right li class list head then when you've written this here i'll be writing browse then when you've written this here i will be now just moving down here then here i'll be writing li a tag then i'll be writing here streaming library now when you've written this here i'll be moving right here li a tag right here live tv then when you've written this here i'll be now writing li a tag right here live news then when you've written this here i'll be moving right here li a tag and then right here live sports like this so here when you've written this i will be moving down right here ul li right here a tag then here i'll be writing tv shows then i will be just writing here li a tag right here movies then right here li a tag right here originals like this then when you've written this here i'll be writing li a tag right here networks 
then right here li attack right here kids then move down right here li attack right here fx on hulu then you have to move down right here ul li attack then here i'll be writing hulu then right here comma right here disney plus and like this then when you written this here i will be moving down right here li attack right here disney bundle then right here li attack right here hbo max then when you written this thing just i will be writing li attack right here cinemax then when you written this thing just here i will be writing li attack then right here showtime then i will be just moving right here li attack then right here stars now i have to just move down after this tag and after moving here i will be writing jewel li class then here i will be now just writing li attack then here i will be just now writing here li then here i will be now just writing class which should be list head so here i will be now writing then here i will be writing help move down li attack right here account and billing like this now here you have to move down li attack right here plans and pricing then when you have written this here i will be moving right here li attack right here supported devices then right here li attack then here i'll be writing excel stability like this now you have to move down right here li class list head right here about us then i will be moving li attack like this then here i will be writing press then move down right here li attack right here jobs then i will be just moving right here li attack then i will be writing here contact control v like this then right here diff class divider then i will be moving down right here diff class social dash icons right here a tag then image here i'll be writing image slash facebook dot svg a tag image image slash then i'll be writing twitter dot svg then here i'll be writing a tag slash image then here i'll be writing youtube right here a tag image slash like this now when you've written this save reload now you can see we are getting all this stuff here now when you're getting these all things here i will be now just moving down again so here i will be now moving down after this footer tag right here diff class model then i'll be writing diff class model box then i'll be writing diff class model body then right here h3 login then when you written this here i'll be writing form removing this action and here i'll be writing div class and here you have to write form control now you have to move down right here label email then here i'll be writing email here also now move down right here label for then here i will be removing this right here type is equals to email right here id email control z here then here i will be now just doing one thing i'll be writing here input type email right here id email then when you've written this here i'll be writing class form control then here i will be writing label for password then here i will be writing password like this now i have to move down right here input password like this then here i will be writing id password now when you've written this here i will be moving right here p tag a tag right for god then right here your email then here i will be writing or password now here i'll be moving right here button class btn btn dash dark so when you've written this here i will be now just writing here login then here i'll be writing diff class model footer right here p tag right don't have an account then you have to write question mark 
and here I will be writing a start. So just like I've telling you now, if I just show you, you can see till here we have just done all this stuff. So here I'll be saving these all things from here. Now when you've written this here, I will be moving down and you can see we are just getting here start your and then here I will be writing free trial. So here I'll be writing like this. Now here I'll be writing image class close then in source here I'll be writing image slash close dot svg then here you have to write script right here source js slash main dot js save reload now here you can see we are getting all this stuff now so when you are getting these all things here I will be now moving to this file directly so here when you are on this file just now you have to just write box sizing so simply here I will be moving here right here box sizing border box right here margin 0 then here I will be writing padding which should be 0 now here I will be zooming in then moving down right here like this right here body tag and here I will be writing font md which should be rubik comma sans serif right here background black now you have to just move down right here color white right here line height this should be 1.7 then you have to just write here overflow x then i will be writing here hidden then you have to write a tag write color white then i will be writing text decoration this should be none then here you have to write a hover right here color then i will be writing triple c right here ul and then right here list style type none then right here image and here I will be writing width 100% then I will be just writing h3 right here font size then I will be just writing here 26 pixel now I have to move down and after moving down here I will be just now here I will be writing font weight 300 right here h4 right here color and in color I will be writing 00ed82 then right here font size 13 pixel right here text transform then I will be writing here uppercase right here dot bt and display which should be inline block like this then right here background white so when you've written this here I'll be writing color which should be triple three then I will be writing here min width which should be 135 pixel right here padding 20 pixel 32 pixel then i will be writing font size which should be 15 pixel right control z then you have to write here font weight which should be 600 then right here line height which should be 14 pixel right here border none right here border radius 5 pixel right here letter spacing which should be 1 pixel right here cursor pointer then right here text transform which should be uppercase then here you have to just move down and here i will be writing dot bt and cta here i will be writing hover then you have to just move down and after moving down here i'll be writing opacity 0 0.8 right here dot bt and outline right here background none then right here color white now you have to just write here border 2 pixel solid white then right here dot bt and outline then here i will be writing hover right here color white then right here border color which should be triple c then right here dot bt and dark right here background which should be black then here i will be writing color white right here dot legal then here i will be writing text and then when you've written this here i will be writing font size 10 pixel here i will be writing color triple c right here margin top 20 pixel then move down right here sub link right here display block like this right here color triple c then when you've written this here i will be now just writing here font size 12 pixel so here i will be writing right here margin top 5 pixel like this then right here text decoration none then here i will be just now writing here underline right here dot text accent 
then here i will be just uh, writing here tag which will be like font size 70 pixel right here font weight bold write dot subtext write max width which should be uh, 850 pixel right here margin bottom which should be 10 pixel right here font size 24 pixel right here dot header height which should be 530 pixel right here background url then write dot slash image slash right here header dot jpeg right no repeat then i'll be writing here center center slash cover now right here dot header nav then i will be writing display flex then i will be writing here justify content in flex head then i will be writing here padding this should be 20 pixel 40 pixel right here z index this should be 2 then i will be just moving down and after moving down here you have to write position related right here dot header then here i'll be writing nav dot login btn then here i will be just writing cursor pointer right here background none right here border none so when you've written this thing just here i will be writing color white then here i will be writing font weight then here i will be just writing bold then when you've written this here i'll be writing text transform uppercase then right here letter spacing which should be one pixel right here dot header dot logo then right here width 270 pixel then i will be just writing here margin which should be 20 pixel zero save reload now you can see we are getting all this stuff here i will be writing dot header dot header content like this right here display flex right here flex direction column right here justify content flex start so here i will be writing flex start then i will be writing align items center right here margin top 30 pixel now right here dot header dot right here header dash text one then when you've written these all things where i will be off writing font size 22 pixel right here font weight bold so when you've written this here i'll be writing header dot header text two then i will be just writing font size 18 pixel right here margin 25 pixel zero right here dot header after then right here content then here i will be writing position absolute so here i will be writing position which should be absolute right here top zero left zero then here i will be writing width 100 percent then here i will be just now writing here height which will be 180 pixel right here z index one right here background which should be linear gradient here i'll be writing 180 degree comma right here rgba then write 0 0 0 0.76 then right here 15.54 percent right here rgba 0 0 0 0.192 then right here 60.23 percent right here rgba then right here 0 0 0 8 e dash 5 right here 100 percent now close this here you have to move down right here dot sub then here i will be writing header then when you've written this here i will be writing display grid right here grid template columns 2 fr 4 fr 2 fr right here gap 40 pixel right here align items center then right here padding which should be 30 pixel 40 pixel then i will be moving down right here background linear gradient which should be 318.68 degree right here this tag right 0 f 495 c and then here i'll be writing 0% right here 0 these 364049 right here 0 8 1 4 1 f 100% right here 
then here you have to just close this tab move down right here stuff header right here div then right here last of type right here justify self which will be end right here align self end move down right here some header then right here div last of then here i'll be writing last of type then here i will be now writing text align center then i will be just writing control z then here i will be writing dot sublink then i will be moving down right here text align which should be center then when you've written this here i will be moving down right here dot categories then right here display flex right here flex direction column then i'll be writing here align items center right here justify content which should be center so when you written this here i will be now moving down and then right here text align and then here i will be writing center here you have to just write padding which will be 90 pixel and 40 pixel right here categories dot covers right display grid grid template columns repeat right here 4 1 fr then right here gap 20 pixel right margin top 40 pixel like this then save this and here i will be reloading now if i show you you can see we are getting these all things here like this now here i will be just moving right here dot categories right here dot covers Div right here height which will be 500 pixel right here width 300 the right position which will be relative then right here categories and right here dot cover grad right position absolute right here top 0 left 0 width 100% height 100% then right here background linear gradient which should be 156.82 degree comma <coughs> then right here rgba and here i will be writing 0 0 0.6 then when you've written this here i will be giving a space right 4.8 percent right here rgba 0 0 0 then here I will be writing 69.61% then write here RGBA again but now here I will be writing uh, this close bracket right here comma linear gradient 24.5 degree RGBA 000.2 then here I will be writing 4.71% comma RGBA 0, 0, 0, 0, 71.49 percent then you have to close this right here dot categories then right here dot cover text like this right here position absolute right here top 20 pixel right here left 20 pixel text align then when you've written this here i'll be writing text align left then you have to move down right here categories now when you've written this here, I'll be writing categories dot cover one. Then when you've written this here, I will be now just writing here background. Right here URL. Then write this tag right here dot slash image. Right here cover one dot jpeg. Then right here no repeat center center slash cover then right here dot categories like this then here i will be writing dot cover to right here background and here i will be writing url right here this tag right dot slash image right here cover two dot jpeg right here no repeat center center slash cover now here i'll be writing categories dot cover three right here background url then i'll be writing dot 
slash image slash cover three. Then right here no repeat. Then right here center center slash cover. Now when you've written this here, I will be moving down. Right here categories dot cover four. Right here background URL. Right here slash right dot slash image slash cover. Then here I will be writing cover dash four dot. Then here I will be writing JPEG. Right here no repeat. Center center slash cover. Now you have to write categories dot cover five. Then I'll be writing here background URL. Right here dot slash image slash right here cover dash five dot JPEG. Now, right here, no repeat, center, center, slash, cover. Now, when you've written this here, I will be now just doing one thing here. I will be raising all this stuff from here. Now, here, I will be writing dot live, right here, background, which should be 51516. Then, right here, padding, 40 pixel, right here, dot live border, then, right here, border. 4 pick solid 1 CE 783 then right here border radius 16 pixel right here padding and in padding I'll be writing 100 pixel right here display flex direction column right here align item center right here justify content which should be center here I'll be writing text align Center. Now, when you've written this here, I will be just now moving down right here. Live it, write text, transform which should be uppercase, then right here font size 18 pixel, right here margin top 20 pixel, right here text decoration underline, right here live sports, then right background URL. Then here I will be writing dot slash image slash live sports like this. Then here I'll be writing no repeat center center slash. Then here I'll be writing cover right here height 800 pixel right here position relative. Now when you've written this save and here you have to reload. Now if I show you you can see we are getting all these banners designed here. Now when you're getting this. Here I will be writing dot live sports. Then right here content. Here you have to just write position absolute. Right here top 160 pixel. Right here left 100 pixel like this. Then here I will be writing max width, which should be 550 pixel. Here you have to write live sports logo. Right here width 300. Then when you've written this, here I will be writing margin. Top, which should be 40 pixel right here display flex align items center right here justify content which should be space between then when you've written all this stuff here I will be moving down right here dot live sports dash logos then here I'll be writing div right background URL then here I'll be writing a tag here dot dot slash image slash network logo bg then here i'll be writing no repeat like this right here center center slash cover now right here height 60 pixel right here width 60 pixel then i will be writing here display flex right justify content center right here align items center then you have to write dot live Sports. Then here I'll be writing logos, image, width 40 pixel right here, footer, background. Then here I will be writing hashtag EBEDF2. Then right here color, triple 3 right here, dot footer, A tag, color, triple 3. Then right here dot footer, container, right here max width, which should be 1100 pixel right here margin auto then right here padding 
40 pixel here you have to move down then here I'll be writing footer list and then here I'll be writing diff flex then here I'll be writing justify content then here I'll be writing space between then here I will be just moving down right here footer list right here list head then when you've written this here I'll be writing text transform uppercase then here I'll be writing font weight which should be bold then here I'll be writing margin bottom there I'll be writing 5 pixel here I'll be writing dot divider and here I will be writing width 100% then here I'll be writing height 3 pixel right here border top 1 pix then here I'll be writing solid right here margin 30 pixel then I'll be writing here 0 right dot social icons image then here I'll be writing width which should be 25 pixel and here I will be just writing a tag which should be like height 25 pixel then I will be writing here margin right and right here 25 pixel right here dot model right display none right here position fixed so here I will be writing position fixed then when you've written this here I will be now just writing here top 0 then right here left 0 then right here z index 1 right here height 100% then right here width 100% then right here background and here I will be writing RGBA 000.5 then right here dot model box right here margin 10% auto right here width 440 uh, 400 pixel right here background which should be white then right here color which should be triple three right here position related right here animation which should be model open 1s right here at the red keyframes right here model open then right from opacity 0 then right here 2 right here opacity 1 then we have to just move down and after moving down here I'll be writing dot model body right here padding which should be 50 pixel then when you've written this here I'll be writing dot model body then here I'll be writing h3 which should be having font weight of bold like this then here I will be moving right here model body which should be dot bta width 100% then I will be writing margin top 30 pixel right here model dot close then right here cursor pointer right here height 23 pixel right here width 23 pixel then I will be writing here position and then here you have to write absolute right here top 20 pixel right 20 pixel right here dot model dot model footer right here background f7 f7 f9 then right here color triple three right here padding 20 pixel zero then right here border top and then right here one keep one pixel solid right here text align center then when you've written this here i will be now moving down right here model dot dash footer 8 a right here color steel blue then when you've written this here i will be writing form control then right here margin 20 pixel 0 then right here form control right here label and then right here display block then i will be writing here text transform uppercase right here dot form then right here control which should be input then right here width which should be 100 percent then when you written this here i will be now just moving down right here two pixel triple c solid then right here border radius which will be 5 pixel right here height 50 pixel padding 5 pixel 
then right here media then right here max width 1 1 0 0 pixel right here categories then right here covers right grid template rows or you can say grid template columns 1 fr 1 fr save then reload now you can see we are getting all this stuff here down now when you are getting these all things here i will be now just doing one thing here i will be moving down after this right here at the rate media max width 768 pixel right here dot header dot logo then here you have to write 200 pixel width now move down right here header dot header then write content here i'll be writing text align center right here header dot header right here text one then i will be writing here margin bottom which should be 40 pixel then here i will be moving at the top right here padding 0 20 pixel here you have to move down right here header dot header text 2 then i will be just writing display none then i will be writing dot subheader here you have to write grid template columns 1fr right here text align which should be center right here gap 20 pixel then when you've written this here i will be now moving down right here sub and then here i'll be writing image subheader image which should be 250 pixel right here width auto then here i'll be now writing margin auto sorry so here i'll be writing margin auto right here subheader then write like this tag right there last of type then right here justify self which should be center right here align self center then right here text and then right here excel right here line height which should be 1.3 then i'll be writing font size 40 pixel here i will be writing dot subtext right here font size 20 pixel right here categories dot covers right here grid template columns 1 fr right here dot live border then when you've written this here i'll be writing padding 30 pixel 10 pixel here i will be now just moving down right here dot live sports and here i'll be writing background url right here dot slash image slash live then here i will be writing dot dot slash image slash live sports small dot jpeg right here no repeat center center slash cover then you have to close right here dot live sports dash content right here top 30 pixel right left 30 pixel right margin top 60 pixel right here dot footer list like right here flex direction column then right here dot model dot then right here dot model box right like this right here with 350 pixel save reload now if i show you you can see we are getting all this stuff and this is our amazing clone which we have built and this is our amazing hulu clone which we have built using nextjs and i hope you understand how we have built all the things are same like i was just showing you in the demo you can see start point if you see all the things are same in this hulu clone we have built this amazing hulu clone using nextjs and we have used nextjs to build it from start point i hope you understand video and if you understand enjoy this so hit a like and if you want to see more videos like that you can suggest me in the comment what clones i should make using these amazing languages i'll be building that you can also tell me like what clones i should make in future i'll be building that using the languages which you will be telling to me you can also just uh, see these all previous stuff which i have done means i have also created many of the clones previously on using nextjs and dxjs that will also giving you help moving forward so just i'll be meet you in next project with more amazing things and more amazing tutorials so for today Good bye.